Hey guys, it's Brie. So today's video is going to be on the Yuki cup. I've had quite a few questions recently about this cup, so I thought I'd get around to doing it today. Um, I did actually manage to remember to keep the stem of the Yuki cup, because as I cut all the stems off my cups, I thought I should probably try and keep hold of the ones I can remember to keep hold of. So this is the stem to the Yuki cup, and I will show it to you in a minute. I have the smaller sized Yuki cup, and I have the soft resistance Yuki cup. The Yuki Cup Classic Resistance happens to be what we call the rock. It is so, so firm. There is literally no way your muscles could possibly keep that cup closed. Seriously, it is super strong. But even the soft resistance is not what I call soft. Um, but it's a very good resistance. I would compare it in resistance to the Lunette, the soft Yuki. Uh, so it's got some pretty decent grip rings, as you can see there. And the stem is here. I don't get an idea. The stem is kind of stretchy, but not really stretchy, and it's hollow and it's very, very squishy. So the Yuki Cup has quite a prominent ish rim. It has four suction release holes that slope upwards. It has this rim around here, and it's obviously very clear. These grips are actually very good. They're not quite as good as the Maluna's grip rings or those Flare Cups grip rings, but they are still pretty good. And it has two measuring lines for 5 and 10 milliliters, I think. This is a smaller cup, so it can hold around 20 milliliters of fluid. Uh, I really like this cup, actually. I've said quite a few times I do like this cup. It's a good resistance. It's not too firm, the soft one, but it's also not too soft. It does always open, but it is still quite a strong opening cup. I can still feel it pop. It is one of those cups I can feel pop open. Um, I don't get the air bubble effect around this. It's almost like my uh, an in-between from my Lunette cup and my Juju cup. The Juju cup I love because I have no issue getting it open. It opens up really easy, re really softly and stuff. The Lunette I can sometimes feel pop open, but it does almost certainly always pop open. This is kind of in the middle. Sometimes I can feel it pop open, sometimes I can't, and sometimes I will get the air bubble effect and sometimes I won't. So it's a bit of a in-between cup there. I wouldn't go as far as to say it's my Goldilocks cup, the one that's just right, so to speak. But it is definitely one of my favourite cups. So when I insert it, I use sevenfold. Squish the rim, pull part of it down to make a seven. And then I smother it in lubricant and I insert it up and it opens up quite well. You can see here it's got a pretty strong resistance to it. So even the softest menstrual cups when you do that by the way will look pretty violent. But you've got to remember your muscles will be squeezing it when it's inside in order to hold it open. You shouldn't have any difficulty getting this cup to open up once inside of you as I said. Uh, I usually, even with the sevenfold, push it up, pull it down a bit, push it up again, and that almost always will certainly open up. The Yuki cup comes in a infuser box, which happens to have Yuki on the top, and actually the Yuki part of it is see-through. This is so you can fill it with water, put your menstrual cup inside, and put it in the microwave to sterilise it for five minutes. So that is really good, I think, because you don't have to worry about... Some people are funny about putting it in plastic containers and using pots and pans because they don't want to associate their menstrual products, which you could understand, obviously, associate their menstrual products with some of their food items, even though you're sterilising it, so you're killing off any bacteria anyway. But uh, this means you get your own box to sterilise... To, uh, Deep, disinfect it with. You put it in the microwave just with water. It has some fill lines for the two different sizes inside. I don't know if I can see them here. You can't really see them. They're so, so faint. If I can get some light on them. You can kind of see there's the two different lines here. The small line and the larger line should be somewhere there. There you go. I reflect it in the light. There's two different lines for where you fill the water up to. They're so faint though. They really should be darker than that. But uh, you fill it up with water and you put it in the microwave for five minutes and that's it, it's sterilised. So you don't have to worry about finding a pot, to, a pot or a pan to do it with. Uh, the Yuki Cup actually isn't that expensive. I think it's around £16 in the UK. No idea what that is in any other currency, I'm afraid. Um, but they've just released a middle uh, stiffness. They don't just have the soft and the classic anymore. They have the soft, medium and classic, I think. And the medium is slightly cheaper. It doesn't come with the infuser box, though. It comes in little pa plastic packaging. I do know that Feminine Wear has only just started st stocking it literally like yesterday. 
uh, but that's why I thought I should do the Yuki Cup review today. So that is one of the big benefits I think to this. It doesn't come with a pouch, but it does come with this, and that really is a good um, advantage for some people, I think. So if you are one of those people who's funny about having places to sterilize your cups, even though you can get like the silicone cup sterilizers that go in the microwave, this cup actually comes with its sterilizing kit, so that is fabulous. The Yuki Cup Large, which I don't have with me, uh, I don't have because I don't need a large cup, is actually one of the biggest menstrual cups on the market. It's been pushed out recently by the Love Your Body menstrual cup, which I will not even attempt to try, so don't even ask me to. It's a monster, that cup, I have seen it. Uh, but it's one of the largest capacity cups. It holds up to 30 millilitres, I think. So if you're a heavy flow bleeder, you really should consider looking into that cup. But as I said before, the Yuki is considered the rock in the menstrual cup community, so you just have to be careful of that. But the softness isn't that soft. Um, if I can find a cup, I might compare it to my Sabelle. So I've just grabbed my Sabelle cup and my Lunette cup. I'll compare it to the Sabelle first of all. The Sabelle is a really, really soft menstrual cup, I should just mention. So, here you go. The Sabelle and the Soft Yuki, both in the smaller sizes. And let's get the comparison of the rims. I think the rim of this cup is about 42, 43 millile millimetres across. They're really very similar in length and diameter. And the lunette cup on top. They're a lot more similar in their resistance. Compared together. And like that. So actually the shape of these two cups is pretty similar. This um, lunette probably is more bell shaped than the Yuki cup. The Yuki cup is longer, but it is still quite a bell-shaped cup. It's not a long, narrow one. So overall, I did really, really like the Yuki. It is a cup I do reach for quite frequently in the, um, when I'm on my cycle. I love it for overnight use because when I'm in the night, if I need to open it, or if I need to empty it, uh, which I very, very rarely do, I just have to do it on my heaviest night. It's so easy to get out and put it in again, so I really do like that. But you have to be careful because with the firmer cups, they can tend to hurt a little bit more when you're taking them out if you're not experienced. However, all I do is when it's in me like that, I simply take my thumb, push it down, create that little dip there. It's called the hot dog in a bun, I think, in the menstrual cup community. I'm not sure. Basically, I call it the U shape, basically, like that. It means it misses your urethra. doesn't hurt at all. So thanks for watching guys, I hope that helped answer any of your questions about the Yuki Cup, I do really like it, you've had a good look at it now and I hope it helped you make a decision on whether you want it or not, but thanks for watching guys, please subscribe to me and like me on Facebook and I will talk to you later, bye.